We're here with Tyler from Tough Top Awnings, and while he's working on some installations with us, we're gonna take advantage of his expertise to ask a couple of common questions we get. Thanks for being with us, Tyler. My pleasure. It's always a pleasure being with you. Uh, one of the most common questions we get is about fabric. Everybody is like 15 ounce, 18 ounce, what am I supposed to use and why? So everybody thinks 18 ounce, bigger, better. It's not necessarily the case in fabric weight. It's how the fabrics are designed. All of our fabrics are proprietary to us. So we have a 15 ounce fabric. It's a very heavy duty, very rigid fabric. Works great on slide toppers because slide toppers have springs, so wind grabs it, it allows the fabric not to damage the hardware. Now why would an 18 ounce, since that's heavier, why wouldn't that be better in all uses? Because our 18 ounce is a coated vinyl, so it holds up on slide toppers, it works really good if you get a lot of snow. So if you have eight, 10 inches of snowfall on here, the fabric's gonna give, so it's not as rigid of a material. So in other words, the 18 ounce is a little more flexible. Exactly. And the 15 ounce is very rigid. Right, okay. so that's the difference. So we use 18 ounce for slide toppers that get a lot of snow, and we also use them for patio awnings. So generally, the rule of thumb is, other than heavy snow on a slide topper, when you order slide toppers, you get 15 ounce. You go with and 15 ounce. And when you order awnings, you get 18 ounce. Correct. And that's the rule of thumb all across the board, except for the stretchiness and give you'd want to have with snow on slide toppers. That's exactly it. And that, it's as simple as that? That's it. Cool. Well, let's go to the other end of this slide topper here, and we're going to ask another common question that we get. Tyler, the single biggest question that we get most often is probably one you hear as well, which is about the spring. Not only is everybody afraid of it, but if they lose spring tension or need to readjust it, nobody seems to have any idea how to do it. So I thought maybe you could give me an idea what you do. The factory tells us 13 full rotations. That's for a brand new spring. So I put on as few as 13, as many as 22. So What's the difference? You really just need to put in the spring tension until it's nice and tight with the slide all the way out. And remember, it's got to travel in, so you want it to be nice and tight. And when you put on a new good fabric, it's going to work a lot better if you have more spring tension than less spring tension. So if anything, we want to err a little bit on the side of being a little bit too firm, but we're not talking about the kind of pressure where you need like a, a a monkey wrench to crank the thing down. This isn't anything that would get away from anybody, is it? This is something that either one person can do with two hands or two people with two hands, but one person should be able to hang on to the roller tube with two hands and feel comfortable holding it for a minute or so. So this uh, roller right here is completely untensioned right now. There's no tension on the spring, right? Nothing. Can you give us a quick idea what it looks like to tension it from nothing? and? show and explain how you're counting as you're going sure sure absolutely so first i notice the other end where i'm going to be installing the fabric so i take note of that where it is here and then i rotate the roller tube towards the coach one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13. That's where everybody says that's where you put your spring tension at. And, and although we can't feel exactly what you're feeling, I can see by the way you're pushing there, you're not putting a huge amount of pressure on it. I'm holding it with one hand and it's not that much pressure. I could hold it all day. Right. So you're gonna add a little bit more because the spring's a little older? Exactly, and it's a really deep slide, so. 14, 15. 16, 17, 18. Now it's starting to tighten up. I don't, oh, I got it right where I want it. So it's feeling firm to you, like if you went to push further, you would have to begin exerting a lot of pressure and you don't want to put that much on, right? No, because once it gets to here and I feel like it's fighting me, then I'm gonna back it off a little bit and it's ready to go. Great, and, the, and again, the deeper the slide, the more you're going to tension the spring because it's going to unwind as it closes, right? Exactly. So then we take our fuel filter vice grip, we put it on the end, clamp it in place, install the new fabric. 
So we're pleased to announce that Tyler is going to be back down in Quartzsite in January 2017 doing installations just like usual, right? That's right. Another year of sun and fun down in the Arizona desert. Now people can get in touch with you in advance if they're going to be down in the Quartzsite area and they're someone who thinks maybe they'd rather not tackle their own slide topper or awning installation, you're going to be there and you're going to be doing that the entire time during the show, right? Exactly. I can come directly to their site, have the fabric pre-made and ready to install. I can come in, do a slide topper in and out in 10 minutes. They're going to hold you to that one. Bad. Although we, we did do it in six and a half, even with a little handicap. I know. I should have done it in five. <laughs> Well, we are going to be down there also, and we're going to be connecting with Tyler. Make sure that if you're interested in having Tyler do the installation of your slide topper or awning on your RV, instead of doing it yourself, that you go to his website, go to toughtopawnings.com. You can pre-order prior to the January RV show in Quartzsite. On the website, don't forget to get your 5% discount by using the discount code RVGEEKSROCK and that will let Tyler know that you heard about him through us. Get your 5% off. And again, if, you're, if you think you can do your own installation and you wanna give it a try, check out all of our videos that show you step-by-step -step how to do many different types of slide toppers and awnings. But Tyler will be down in Quartzsite if you're gonna be anywhere near the area. Come and see him and come and see us too. I make for a good show when I put on a slide topper. Yeah, he'll let you watch. Yeah. Tyler. Thanks again for coming up. It's My great pleasure. to see you as always. Thank you.